Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here, you. Look at that, you guys. They beautiful, but yet crazy. Well, sort of crazy. Northern water snake right here. It's 8.30 in the morning, and I'm about to head off to my next destination. So today is supposed to be the very first day for me of 2023, you guys, to start my herping trips. But unfortunately, uh, to start the morning, it is apparently still pouring rain out here. And the good news is, though, the forecast is saying the, the rain's supposed to stop within like the next like couple of hours. So I think by the time we get to the spot where I'm going to take you guys, it probably be already done. Even though there are probably still going to be some clouds and it might still be a little bit damp. But I'm also going to be shooting a fishing video on my other channel everyone so I got my other camera equipment with me ready to go so with that being said if but if we get there and it's still you know still soaking wet there I think I figure we can go ahead and actually just shoot some footage actually for my other channel so with that being said you guys make sure that you guys smash that like button for me if you're new to this channel make sure you guys also hit that subscribe button too so hopefully this weather can turn around for us and we'll have some better luck and uh, a lot more sunshine to cover more ground so this is the exact location where I'm going to be taking you guys um, looking for snakes here. And already I spotted three of them even before I started rolling the camera. And just moments ago I accidentally startled a big, big water snake. I don't know where it went to. I think it went down the current. But since water snakes are pretty, pretty strong animals, I don't think it's anything that can be concerned about. So we keep our eyes open and see if we can find any more, everybody. <sighs> this is awesome. I can't wait to look for more. Is a big, big female, you guys, right there. That's a big girl. Right there she goes. Oh, and like right up there already. oh, there she goes. Look at that, you guys. Right there. Look at her go. That's a big girl. Beautiful, beautiful female right there. Oh, awesome. That is awesome. That is what I came to the island here for today, everybody. Can you guys see all those like blobs right there in the water right in front of me? Right near the surface? Oh no way. Is that a carp? That has to be a carp. Or is that a boat fin? Oh, it's a boat fin. Check this out. We got a whole bunch of bullheads in here and we got ourselves a boat fin swimming up in here. That's so cool. He's just swimming right along the surface with the others. That is so awesome. Everybody, so I just spotted a water snake right in front of me here. Looks like he's trying to stay camouflaged. He's actually trying to get a little bit of sunlight, I guess, also. But it looks like, and since water snakes, you guys, they do have great vision. He obviously has to see me because of how big I am. So, I gotta be quick about this if I wanna catch him because these guys can move fast on water and on land, too. So, with that being said, I gotta at least try and catch a snake for you guys today, anyway, so. Because I was, like I said, I was bass fishing out here earlier today. And unfortunately did not catch anything here at this water source. Kind of surprising. That's, but I guess that's how fishing is. You either hit or miss them. So let's go ahead and try and catch this water snake.
Oh. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> oh well. What can I say? It was worth a try. So it's amazing how this area has a, an abundancy amount of wildlife, you guys. It's not just snakes. There's turtles, there's fish, birds, etc., etc. It's amazing, everybody. And uh, well, before I leave this particular area, I do got to catch one snake for you guys because uh, I'm not going back home empty-handed here. So let's see if we can find one here. Let's see if we can stir it up. Oh, never mind. Thought there was a snake under there at first. Well, so far not on this side of the area. We'll go ahead and take a look back at that other spot where we saw that big gorgeous looking female. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here, you. Where are you going, handsome fella? Come here. Come here. Oh, you are. Oh, easy now. Easy, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Look at that, you guys. A beautiful, but yet crazy, well, sort of crazy, northern water snake right here. Come here, buddy. Let's get you a better view in the sun. Look at that. All right, you guys, just thought I'd give you a little quick look at this beautiful species before I let them go. It's time to, time to release them, so. All right, buddy, I'll let you go now. Well, everyone, I guess we're gonna have to cut it short for the day because the bugs out here are getting really nasty. So I think we'll do a part two to this adventure here at the dam, you guys. So with that being said, you guys, make sure you guys smash that like button and turn on that notification bell. Now, let's go ahead and head back to the ha snake house. Look at that, you guys. Ariel's trying to do her best cobra pose. And literally, that's probably the best one she has done so far I've ever seen her do. Honestly, she's realistically actually thinking, well, she obviously knows that I thought out some food for her not too long ago. That's why she was doing that pose. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it to her before she gets a little, you know, disappointed in me. Oh, it's okay, girl. It's okay. I got dinner for you. You want some dinner? I got dinner here for you. Get it, girl. Good job. Oh, nice. That was awesome. Like I said, she knew that something was up. So, what can I what can I say everybody? I don't like to usually keep my snakes waiting for on dinner. <laughs> Um, again, everybody, I do apologize that I bailed out of that area a little early. Like, in that, and like I said, because the bugs, the bugs were really bad out there in that area. Um, I guess it was just that time when they started hatching. So, and even, I did put on bug spray, by the way. And even with that bug spray, it really didn't have that much effect. So that's kind of a pain in the rear. So I'm thinking about going back there sometime, maybe like next month at some point, you know, when the bugs start going down. And obviously, it'll be warmer out. And um, maybe, who knows, we could do a little bit more bass fishing out there. So, with that being said, everybody, I think I'm going to go ahead and just conclude the vlog here for the day. And also, do you guys realize that this is my 400th vlog, 400th vlog that I have recorded in my life? You guys, that's right. 400 vlogs already have been made on this channel. That's, that's crazy. So... And that's just amazing how fast time has flown. I can still remember when I recorded my 100th vlog, which was like two or three years ago. It still feels like I recorded it just yesterday, so, but that's amazing. So with that being said, everybody, I'm just going to go ahead and conclude this today's video. Make sure you guys smash that like button for me, you guys, and also feel free to subscribe if you're new to this channel, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell, everybody. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.